What's going on YouTube? So welcome to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Tommy Martin and I am a fourth year medical student that is about to be submitting my medical school application to residency. And so what I want to talk about in this video is throughout medical school or even undergraduate, should I be doing research? All right, so to hear my answer, make sure you stick around. But before I get to talking about that, I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. All right, so this is a question that I've gotten asked multiple, multiple times, is should I do research? And if I do research, how do I go about it? And how much research should I be doing? All right, so I will probably give you a little bit different of an answer than what most people will give you because majority of anyone who you ask will say, yes, 100%, you should definitely do research. Because for one, on your application and your CV when you send it in, they ask you your research experience and how many papers you've had published and different things of that nature. So it is definitely criteria that they use to gauge medical students on. So before I get to my point and kind of where I stand on if you should do research, I will say, just give a little forenote that research is very important and research can be very beneficial and it does build up your CV and it does make your application look nice. But where my answer kind of differs a little bit from the rest of the people that you'd probably ask is, my answer would be, only do research if you are passionate and enjoy research. Okay, and why I say that is because passion drives everything. If you are very passionate about research and if you are very enthusiastic and want to learn more about a certain topic in medicine or you want to learn about cancer drugs or you want to learn about um, risk factors for cardiovascular disease or things like that, then by all means, please, please, please do research. And I tell you that is because you will do a great job at doing research if you're passionate about it. Not only are you going to be benefiting yourself because you'll be building yourself up because it's something you enjoy and you'll be loving life, but you'll, you'll be benefiting the whole world because you're giving your whole heart and everything you have into that research. Okay, and on the other side of that, if you hate research, if you're not interested in research whatsoever, like you don't like doing it at all, then maybe you're someone that shouldn't do research. Maybe you're someone that should do other things to build up your application, such as volunteer work or um, community service activities, things that you enjoy doing and things that you could do to build up your application, like shadowing would be a great way to build it up, working in hospitals, working in clinics, doing medical work overseas, or whatever you're passionate about, gear that towards building up your application and not something that you'd kind of be hating life doing. Because when you get in interviews, it, like the interviewers want someone that is passionate. They want someone that is just so inspired by the work that they're doing. But if you did research and you hated your life for the six months that you did research, when they ask you about it, you're going to be like, uh, well, I kind of like did this research on this thing, didn't really care much about it. But on the other end, if you were like jacked out of your face about the research you did, they will find you very appealing or whatever work that is that you did. If you were passionate about it, they will find that appealing and inspiring. And that's the kind of person they want in their program. And so the first point I want to make about if you should do research or not is evaluate how passionate you are about research. If you are someone that is passionate about it, by all means, please do research. It'll help your application a ton. If you are someone that hates research and would not enjoy it one bit, I'd probably recommend you not do much research, if any at all. And is that gonna hurt your application? Maybe, but you can build your application up in other areas. Okay, the second point I wanna make is if you should do research, kinda of determines on the field that you're going into. So if you're someone that's 100% dead set on family medicine or internal medicine, research might be a little less needed than as someone that might be eventually wanting to go to hematology oncology where research is very, very, very much needed in this very growing field in which a lot of drugs are coming out for oncology and things of that nature. So really be critical of what you really wanna go into in the future and if research would be beneficial for you. And there's tons of things online where you could see about like how many uh, 
research experiences people had or how many papers they had published throughout medical school to get into certain subspecialties. And this is probably somewhere where my application honestly lacks a lot because I haven't done any research. And to be completely honest, it's because it does not interest me at all. And that's, you know, that's probably not good to say, but I'm just not too interested in it. I love the clinical aspect of medicine, not necessarily the research aspect of it. And I want to go into hematology, oncology. So that may hurt my application a little bit, but I do truly, truly believe I'm building my application up in many other ways. The third thing about research, and if you do want to research, I would say start early. So even in your undergraduate or in your medical school years, if you are passionate about research and you know you would do a good job for yourself and for the future people that will be looking at your research, then I would say make sure to start early and be very assertive in what you want to do. So ask anyone that ever mentions the word research. Go, make sure you go to your school and talk to all the uh, people that hold the office about academic help and academic progress and talk to them about research opportunities. Not only that, go to all the local hospitals and find out what research opportunities they have and that you could get involved in. And when you're looking, make sure you pick a field that you would potentially want to go into. Okay, so make sure that you are assertive and ask around, ask anyone that you know that has any research experience about getting on board or that you're willing to help or that you would love to be able to help them with the research that they're doing. And make sure, again, to go to all the surrounding hospitals because they'll have research that's going on that you could definitely help out in. And the last thing that I will add is that research doesn't have to be done early, that even throughout residency and throughout um, your four years of medical school, you could always be doing research. So there will always be opportunity, but it is up to you to seek out the opportunities and to find what will work best for you. All right, guys, so this was just a very short video and just kind of like my adv advice about research. So just to give you the quick and dirty about my thoughts on research is one, only do it if you're very passionate about doing it and you think that not only would you benefit yourself and make yourself very happy for those six to 12 months of doing the research, but you'd also benefit the people by the research you're gonna produce because you put so much heart and passion into it. The second piece of advice was to make sure that you're critical about what you want to go into into your future and if your field really needs research on your application. And very lastly, make sure that you're assertive and get to looking around for research early on so you can get started, you know, an undergraduate or in your first two years of medical school. And remember, if you're passionate about it, make sure to do it. If you're not passionate about it, you may still need to do some, but don't make that your first priority. All right, because you want your application flooded with things that you are absolutely in love with. So when you go to an interview, they see your heart and they see your love and see how much work and care you're going to put into for your future patients. All right, guys, so that's all I have about research. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll make sure to include some links below to, that talks a little bit more about research and research opportunities. I love you guys greatly, and please, please, please do not forget that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. Oh,